rid of all the mods. Go. I should be live again. You can see the. T I like how they changed the title screen for each one. It's great. That level of detail is awesome. There we go. Stay hydrated. <laughs> this one's my personal favorite. Mainly because I like what they've done. <sighs> this one involves Colorado. Uh, Alec, how'd you voice the giant tuna? Giant the tuna! I'm not a tuna, I'm a whale. And anyway, this 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 looks like to be the stop. Welcome to Glace Island. Smashing! We've made it to Glace Island. I can't give enough thanks to the glorious tuna for taking us here. Legend has I'm it. a whale! Silence tuna, I am monologuing here. Legend has it that these lands are home to the world's sweetest treasure. Shall be, it shall be the archaeological find of the century old being. By the way, I prepped up a little something special for this expedition. It's a care package that has an assortment of badges and items for you to use during the expedition. Think of it as a token of good luck for the adventure ahead. You got the Colorado's kit. Get the various items and badges for your adventure. My goodness, that glorious smell! That must be the treasure of Glace Island. Let's rush to the volcano west of town. Surely we'll find a clue along the way. Come on, Mario. Post east. That man's gonna get himself killed, and we all know it. Now, now this is my personal favorite of the mods. That doesn't mean the other ones aren't good, just this one's my personal favorite of them. You got a cocoa bean, a Glace Island delicacy. It restores 3 HP and 3 FP. We don't need. Yog! Help, I say, help! Page, the, the, these fuzzies that are coming up are you. And I mean that on so many levels. Fuzzy. Yeah, I know how to do that, Mario. This is a cafe, cafe fuzzy. They're similar to other fuzzies, but their diet of caffeine and sugar does no favors for their already hyperactive nature. Yeah, caffeine addicted fuzzies. Oh, hi Joey. Hi Joey Green too. Hola. How are we today? Max HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. Weak to electric attacks, nor too keen with water, resistant to ice. They cling to you, draining HP in a single attack. Be careful not to get lightheaded. You... That said, I bet they're so lightheaded from being so hyper that even the slightest breeze will make them dizzy. They've got limitless energy, but if you can find a way to put them to sleep, they'll be asleep for a while. That's how caffeine ter typically works, the moment you run out, you're totally out. They also occasionally divide, so let's beat them up before they get the chance. Yes, Thousand Year Door is a great game, but Paper Mario 1 is my personal favorite. It's also why I love the mods that come out for this game. This is a bzzzbzzm. They're deadly bees. The bees. Drawn to the Glace Island by the sweetest aroma of the land. Max HP 4, attack power 6, defense 0. Weak to basically everything, water, ice, even jumping on them, but they can take a fire attack better than you would expect. With their deadliest attack and their ability to shrink us, it's best that we take them out ASAP. Luckily, their low HP makes it that easily to do with a group of them 
Too far. That's right. Watch out for this swamp. So they're basically just a regular bee. I hate that. I, that is why I have the rule of I do not trade in games. I just don't. Oh, that's a lot of star points. <sighs> Every time you've come to my aid. I know enlisting you for this expedition was an excellent idea. I brought this with me for insurance. Consider this the less than spectacular events from my previous outings. But with you here, I feel confident I won't even need it. You grow married and joy to your heart's content. You voice can Mario. Hold on, Colorado. Did Cooper you mentioned something about the volcano being off limits. Why don't we go check out the village instead? Surely someone in town has at least heard heard something about this legendary treasure. Oh yeah, b back when b back when collecting GameCube, Xbox, and PlayStation games were nothing, but now they're all like a hundred bucks each. Hell, I bought mine all. I bought all my GameCube games six years ago that I was I was missing just to make sure I wouldn't have to pay out the butt for them. I see. Now that you mention it, I do recall we have arrangements with the village leader. I was going to look into the myths and legends, trying to find Glace... Uh, the legends... Glace Island source to see if there's any clues to be found. I do believe we were to speak to him, he'd lead us right to the legendary treasure of Glace Island. Come on now, Mario. That legendary treasure isn't going to get any sweeter just standing here. He has the mustache. <laughs> Who would the bean? Is that a badge? My badge now. Up, up, run away! Candy star. Yoshis! How many islands do the Yoshis have? Why is Chuck Quizmore here? Uh. to get save kids sugar sparkies and chai went missing I'm gonna go to sleep okay I'm gonna go to private okay we'll be there I'll later be I'll be there later okay. um... Yeah, most of the best Wii U games got ported to Switch, but a, a few are real. That a few Wii get U games that are good haven't been ported, like Xenoblade Chronicles X, Color Splash, Woolly World. No, I'd love them to port them, or at least put them on the eShop somehow. Because when once the eShop goes down, people aren't gonna the Wii U eShop goes down, people aren't gonna be able to play them, which sucks. Oh, the jam and jelly still here, so we will just go out here to get that. Oh, 
Oh, in Twilight Princess, we in the remakes of Twilight Princess and Wind Waker are good to have as well. Maybe the shy guy's pink. Wow. Okay, let's try out these new abilities. We got new killer bonk. They change the abilities for the partners you have in this. I have them all too. Uh, I love my Wii U. I still prefer it to my Switch, actually. Sparkle. What is sparkle water? I drink sparkle water. Did Mario just drink water he got from a plant? Oh, Mario's gonna die. Australia, by the way. Land down under. This is an ambush. I mean, I don't really need to read the title for him because it's basically the same. Sweetie Daisy. This is the Sweetie Daisy. Sweetie Daisies are flowers given life by the sweet aroma of Glace Island. They often team up with ambush or other enemies to gain an unexpected prey. 10 HP to attack defense zero. Like most local fauna, they are resistant to resist water and electricity, but weak to fire and ice. I'll put you to sleep with this song. Mexico called the land down under. No, Australia. No, I'm not from Mexico. Unless you're from Mexico. They'll put you to sleep with this song, giving other foes a chance to attack you. They also heal their allies. They tend to do when they're low on HP or while you're asleep. In fact, if they get down to three or low, they'll just run away. Well, they'll heal. Great. The healing enemies. You think your attack will put them in range of that? It might be worth considering what you do that turn. Well, that's cool. You're from Mexico. Never been to Mexico. Actually, I've never been to the Northern Hemisphere. Would it be better to finish them in one strike or save them in the last so they don't constantly heal? What do you think, Mario? Uh, What's this one do? Invigorate. Mario's attack power is boosted. How much? One. Okay, it's not worthless, but it's not better than just letting my ally attack. Oh no! It's the happy evil skip. Ah, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Hi, Asayo. I smell a Canadian Bowser. He kidnapped Princess Peach and dipped her hair in maple syrup. I why did you do that the Bowser? See, I told you the one. Bowser evil. Uh, damn it, his style. <laughs> it's uh, it's funny. But I, I do like uh, the new enemies in this one. Very interesting enemies. Help, can anyone hear me? No, no one can help you now. Is this just a sushi dialogue or is it actually different? I can't move. Ah, so you you just climbed up the tree to hide from them instead of being tricked up here. Chai! That's close. I don't think I ever caught your name. I'm Gumbario, and over here is the one and only Super Mario! We're out an adventure looking for the legendary treasure of Glace Island. Mario saw you were in a bind, so he came over to help. Wait, I thought kids weren't allowed to play in these parts of the marshlands. What happened? Did you get lost or something? Right, well you see, my friend Rash... rallied up all the other kids to go on adventure in the marshlands. I was, I tried to stop them. I really did. I warned them about dangers and they didn't listen. Russia said the danger is half of the fun of a good adventure. We didn't even get a chance to 
To tell the grown ups where we were going. I got separated from the others, I'm trying to follow them, and well, here I am. My name's James. My name's Chai. Family came. They sound to study the odds of T bending. To tell you more, but I got to find the others before they get into trouble. One more trouble than they're already in is that. Who's. Look, can I. Uh... Yay, we got a new party member! I'm sorry, key bending? Yes. Well, this avatar? You're asking at me! Chai, join your party! Well, we're gonna check out, uh, we're gonna check out Chai's moves set, aren't we? Also, Cooper, we haven't checked out Cooper's changed moveset either yet. <coughs> because they changed Cooper's and Gumbario's moveset for this mod. Do -do 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 -do. Obviously, if Nuclear Bonk is any indication. I just like that. I would love it. This one is really inventive because they can actually see this going into a full playthrough with different air. Like modded areas to be slightly different throughout the whole entire game. And one of the other three mods is a Bowser Inside Story mod. And there's one that's inspired by Overcooked, which is a peach cooking mod, and then there's another peach cooking mod. Okay, let, let's check out Coo. Well, we can just check out Cooper's new moves here. Ah. Okay, which move first? Pierce shot? Steam shell? Okay, that makes your opponent dizzy. So it's like dizzy shell, but it can cause damage. You're dizzy, so I don't have to really worry about your attacks. What's Pierce shot? Ah, so it's a single hit attack, but it pierces defenses. Cool. As I reiterated earlier, I will be uploading these to my YouTube channel and linking the Discord where you can get these mods. And it has a knockback effect for his normal attack. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, the more close to a level up. Well, I don't need to go back to heal, then we're gonna level up. Just level up. We'll take out Chai's moves when we super block them because there's a super block to the west. Uh oh. That's not good. There we go. So if you have any questions, chat, ask and I'll answer with what I know. Yay, level up! Okay, what should we level up? 
be honest, I would like more HP. Wrong teammate. We also haven't used Koopa's ultimate attack, but that's... Meow. Vault shell. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Vault shell's awesome. Tattle. Minty guy. This is a minty guy. A shy guy that makes... Home in the jungles of Glace Island. Max HP 8, attack 3, defense 1. Resistant to electric, quake, as well as explosion damage while vulnerable to ice. That's why I think we know on all the ice. Their jungle gear makes them immune to toxins, so don't even try poisoning them. You'll get hurt if you attack with the ha so the point the spears down, don't hammer spears up, don't jump. Call the reinforcements. They'll throw their spears. If you hit, they hit when they throw their spears. You fall asleep. They become a normal shy guy up. They throw the spear. So typical jungle guy up to the uniqueness is gone. So what you doing, Alagod? And also, uh, trying to. Also, what? Uh, feedback is welcome on my channel. I'm not one of those YouTubers who goes, I don't want feedback. I, I'm a streamer and YouTuber who loves feedback. May stream for fun, but it doesn't mean I don't want critique. Also, these mods are glitchy, so I'm making save states every couple seconds. They're prone to crashing anyways what I'm doing is, is remodeling uh, Dragon Ridge's station because uh, since now we're on MTR we don't have a uh, railcraft anymore which means new station Ooh, there's a buzz there's a, some kind of buzzy sleepy tea squirt of jetta tea water that may also put to sleep Okay, that's interesting. Hearty flop. That's not a regular ambush, it's a super bush. Wait, that heals Mario? That's cool. Tattle! This is a sugar bee rush. They behave similar to ambushes, but are more bulky. HP 25. Okay, that's why it's not dead. Attack power 4, defense 0. You resist quite a few elements, like water and electric, but are extra weak to fire. They share similar status or an ability to ambush as well. They poison you, you'll be hurt every time, that's no good. This could be a good time to have items to cure poison and watch your HP. Wouldn't want the damage to surprise you when you're weak. So worst case scenario, we can use our strongest attacks to take it out fast or the damage for the poison damage stacks up. But we can rack up a ton of damage on it with my nuclear bomb. Why don't we give that a shot, Mario? Well, I'm out of FP, that's why. Also, we'll die next turn anyway. First of the three, we need to save. Sugar Sparkies look weird. Really cool though. 
I I was so scared. We were playing hide and seek, and there was this weird plant that trapped me here. Shy was right. We should have stayed inside the village to play hide and seek. We should have listened to her. Thanks for coming to get me now. I'm going home. Yeah, I brought a snack to have while I was out, but I never got around to having it. Maybe you should get some use out of it. Spell donut. Mmm. What do we have a look at that item we just received? We got a lot of cocoa beans. Cocoa bean! Now we got a ton of these things. We'll eat another one. There's the upgrade block. Malakad. Upgrade block. We'll obviously use it on Chai. Ginger Oreo. Recover my- I'll wait until I'm damaged a bit before I use that. Three damage. Well, we're gonna level up after this. How many times have I told you to stop eating mud? Chew the leg some mud. He says it's tasty. Think for my spot, Mario. He I'm not the one telling him to eat the mud. He asked if he can eat it. And I say it's okay. Why does he even want to eat the mud in the first place, is the question. Or else it does. Father, so why are you telling him it's okay to do that? I don't know. My dad let me eat the mud. That answers so many questions. Luigi, is that true? Yep. This is a sour drop that beetle. That answers so many questions. Adorable candy variants of buzzy beetles with shells as hard as jailbreakers. 6 HP, attack power 2, defense 4. They resist a lot. Fire, water, and ice barely do anything on it. Plus the only explosion that will get through that shell is my nuclear bomb. So a good earthquake will crack them open, plus the other buzzy beetles you can jump on their heads to flip them over. Don't forget when they're flipped over their defense power falls to zero and loses all animal and resistance. They're actually weak to fire under the resistant shells, so they'll make it, it even easier to take them out. So let's make Let's make like a trampoline and bounce the day away. What? Boing! Boing! Level up FP because I think we need more FP. We'll give Chai the new ability. What do you think, Alaka? Yes. Uh, we'll go right. Okay, let's see what this is. Toxicity. That is a bad joke, but okay. Flood all foes in a nasty water mix that it can also poison and more. God, I've gotten shit at. I haven't used Tidal Wave in a while. It poisons your opponents. And what did that just do? Drop attack, I think? Yeah, it did. And this is why we use save states a lot. In case of that. Because these are, you know, basically betas. With the amount they're completed that, that, that they're going to crash a lot.
So we've lasted about five minutes, but eh. It's okay, it's fun. Just skip all the text. Damn Shaggy! I fake my taxes like everyone, I mean pay my taxes. Why did you say he doesn't pay taxes? Yes. No, I said I, 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 I pay my taxes like everyone else. Sure you did, Mario. Sure you did. You don't pay taxes. I pay taxes. Cause I'm a law-abiding citizen. Yes, so do I. I'm old, so it's better. Oh. Oh. Oh, that hurt. That. There we go. Blue Yoshi just paid 300 coins in taxes. That's because Blue Yoshi's best yet. Is that real easy? Blue Yoshi pay taxes? Why are you asking me? I don't know. You're in the Mushroom Kingdom. Yes, but I'm also not on Yoshi's Island. Why the taxes? Okay, we're back to where we were before the game crashed. We've got one of the sugar star whatevers. Now we need to get the other two. And I was going... I was going right, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. We'll go right. Ah! What the shy guy? Damn fascist shy guys. But they don't even pay taxes. Wow! What does row mean? Row, 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 row. That was a translate. Uh, gotta translate. Wow. Apparently, the shy guys are annoyed because Bowser hasn't given them their new their new toys in their toy box quota that they were meant to give three months ago. I could have sworn I are. Wow. I could have I did that. <laughs> Said something about telling Mario all your secrets if they don't get their quota. I'll look into where that went because I know I sent it. Wow. <laughs> okay, we'll help. Woo! Look at the new Piranha Plant designs. 
They look great. And bloopers. Sour piranha. This is a sour piranha. The breath tastes so sour it turns anyone caught in its path. 20 HP, 4 attack, defense 0. Weak to fire and ice, but resists water as well as quake. Their bite is tough, but their truly scaring feature is their paralyzed breath. If it hits you, you won't be able to move. There's only two damage, so at least it doesn't hurt too bad. If you get paralyzed, you won't be able to move. We'll need help from trying to snap you out of it. Her tea can snap you out of it as well as heal you if you get the timing down. First thing. Bloops. See, Bob. We'll kill you first. Blenke rule. Um, you better give those to Donkey Kong before he kills you. This is a bloopsy bop. Mini bloopers that suck the HP right out of you. Max HP 10, attack power 2, defense 0. Resistant to lots of elements including fire, ice, and water. Call it a hunch, but I think the sea creature is weak to electricity. I doubt you can shrink them with how tiny they already are, but I think it's well past their bedtime. They're fairly hardy and heal when draining your health, so you want to shake them off as soon as they latch on. Otherwise, they heal back all the hard work we've done. I don't want to be here all day, watching them heal off the mirror, so let's make sure we can commit to finish them off once we start attacking them. Oh, my nose just went plug. Nuclear bonk! Okay, I don't like being paralyzed. This reminds me of that time I put Luigi in a wheelchair. And he had the shotgun. And then the gourmet guy ate the shotgun. And then shot the Yoshi chief. Uh, Ma, Luigi, I think Mario is going crazy. Yes, he did. Like that all happened, or is the or is Mario out of it? He is out of it. Yeah, woo! I think is this another party member? No, oh, it is. Are they gone already? You beat it up all those monsters? You must be tough. See, aren't you the moustache man who's, who was hanging out with the crazy treasure hunter earlier? Mario, right, cool, let me rush. It's boring in the village, so me and my friends went out of here to have his own adventure. But I guess we got a bit off a little more than we can chew. Say, weren't you looking for that treasure on Glace Island everyone's talking of? That's perfect, you're looking for treasure, I'm looking to have an adventure. I bet if we team up, we can beat up any of the dumb monsters that get in our way. Don't look at me like that. I swear I'll pull my own weight. Just let me hang out with you a bit longer. Can you hear the doggos? Uh, barely. Yeah, say hello to the doggo, everyone. I may be little, but I'm a sugar sparky. We have cool powers that even grown-ups are jelly of. We have the power to use sweets of the island and do all sorts of awesome things. I promise you won't regret it. Hey, what? Let's go find oh, it. Show you what oh. I mean. Oh, what the hell, Mario? What did you do to my clothes? I, I don't wash your clothes. I think I'm gonna clean. He has a point there. I didn't. I'm saying you you cleaned them. I'm asking you what you did to them to make them smell this bad. I haven't got near your claws. Bullshit. I did not touch your claws. Maybe you made someone angry. Then you explain this smell. Smells like the last time I tried cooking. Do Let's heal. You tried cooking again and in my and in my clothes. God damn it, Marco. I don't wear your clothes. And then explain the smell. You explain the smell. I can't, because I know I didn't do anything to warrant this smell. Alright. Hee hee hee. 
Stupid brothers. Wait, I can just go across now. I don't have to do the fishy thing. Let's switch the rush on new party member. I see they're blue, but their electric thing is still that of Watts. Probably couldn't do that or some coding error. I wonder what it was. Okay, let's try out Rush's attacks. First, we're just gonna kill you because I don't want to deal with you. Uh oh. That didn't work. Okay, glaze dash. Dash will glaze and sugar for various secondary effects. Did I get did I get an FP back? Okay. I like that. There she goes, Bowser is back to haunt you. I don't remember dying again. And shrink your enemy. Okay, Rush has some really interesting attacks. To be honest. to let up on the banana slams. Yes, he does. Jumpy jumpies! Yeah, the buzzy's dead. Oh, this mod is a lot of fun. This mod's also longer than the other ones we've done so far, isn't it? this Two of the enemies killed. Three. Oh no, he's summoning more jacks. If anyone knows what happened is happening, the Sire has redeemed Yoshi mode. 
So for the next 15 ish to 10 minutes, I had to speak like a Yoshi Alaka. Eh. It's a weird channel reward, but it's what I came up with. Kyle! Crunk and flower! Where's my thumb? Oh! Wow, this is laggy. Or a little bit of lag, half a little more. Or like, ooh, or it's like a zap zap. Supposed to be asleep, Paige. Well, I'm from from from. Half a lot of fuzzles are a lot of work. A lot of the fuzzles are better. A lot of the fuzzles are better. A lot of the fuzzles are better. Besides, she's still awake after she, after she uh, said she was going to bed. I think that answers your question on how caffeinated she is. Fast travel room. I shall have more to think of run, run. Run, 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 run. Oh, I'd like to throw a world. Okay, I have to go normal for this to read the title. This is a Shaka Blop. Shaka Blop, one of the forms of a Bloopsy Blop can be when it grows up. 50 HP, defense 0, ink is 3, while their normal attack is 4. It's resistant to war. This doesn't count to the time. It's been four minutes. I still have six minutes of Yoshi. 
It's resistant to water, ice, well, weak to electric and fire attacks. The ring spray is weak, but if you're not careful, it will blur your vision for some time. When they charge up electricity, the attack goes all the way up to 8. If you can interrupt their charge by attacking them, by attacking them, they'll go back to normal. I highly recommend against direct attacks, but well, it's like charge, otherwise you're in for quite a shock. Mario, I think of how huge it's getting. Toxins inside of it will be very effective. I just know this blooper is the only thing between us and the treasure. Looks tough, but as long as we don't hold back, we should be fine. Let's do this. What? Hold the level of us, what that blooper. Zapple, zapple. Okay, boom. Taxes. Alright, alright. God damn, making me sing alright, you fucking cheese, one little fucking fang. Can't even freaking teach you to make a fucking thing. Take that, you smugger. Moon, you got munted, mate. Munt, you good. No, I'm not saying that. We did that a lot, we did it a lot, and then it's about the bubble, the bubble, the bubble, the bubble, the bubble, the bubble, the bubble. And now to claim the great wall of why do we give a fuck? Jump! I hear you, so I am a jumping you. Do 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 jump you prick. And the A button is a fucking cunt. Jumpy jump, jump, bump, jump, 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 jump. Come on, jump more than a kangaroo on crack. Come on. Woo! Look, they changed Raphael right at the Raven, Malika. What is he now? He's yellow. Looks like a. He looks like a duck. Why do we look like a duck now? As that's how the mod makers made me for this. Are you a giant sand duck? No, I am not a giant side duck, Mario. You look like a giant shiny side duck. I'm gonna call you side duck. Next time I catch you side duck, it will be called Raphael. Shiny side ducks are blue. That's what they want you to think. <laughs> Bananas and pajamas. Bananas and pajamas. Look at me down. Damn it! I like how you do, Raphael. Oh. Welcome. Yeah, I bet the be able to come real fucking. Story, it's been ages since I've last seen someone come this deep into the island. Why do you make a nest if you have a nice tree leaves below you? 
Tell your business now. Shut up. No hiding something. <laughs> this is funny shit. He's a crack ass. You don't happen to be what the ones who uh, cleared out those pests I interested in my sacred home, do you? No, you still have the pests. Look at those little birds all over the tree. Excellent. Those bloopers and the other monsters have been a menace to me and the people of this island for ages now. Can you just jump on them? No, what the smeggle fuck is going on up there? Are you right? You've done a great. Word is on the wind. It's told me you've done a great deal for the people at the village as well. Anyone who can do all that is a friend of mine in my eyes. Okay. We changed right there. Yes, you've heard correct. I'm the guardian of the, this island. You can refer to me as Master Custard. Is this your cousin, Raphael? Damn straight. Then why don't pretend to be him? Cause he's a shit cat. If you have any problems at all, just let me know, okay? I'm all ears. So you you, you wanna so is that is that why you look like a giant eagle? <laughs> I want that treasure! Give me the damn treasure! That's my question. <laughs> and Australia's gonna import the is the hoochie booch out of that liquor? You betcha. Ah, uh, like I've. Uh, I see. You came here in search of the legendary treasure of Glace Island. I'm in. He's doing the boot to boot I may be able to help you with that. Ancient artifact, how old is this piece of shit? You see, I have an ancient artifact passed down by generation to generation of my people. Let me be able to turn into any treat into the greatest sweet in the I in the island. So you're telling me the things Bonzo? Do you have any idea how dangerous that sort of power holds here on Glace Island? It's sweet as. I'm just gonna answer every question with slang. We call all the power that Sugar Sparky traveling with. And imagine if that power was tenfold, if not unlimited. Make the entire oh, world. Yeah. Make the entire world fat. Got it. <laughs> Is this star short circuiting your pink or an entire new one? <laughs> Mm. 
That is the ultimate power of the sweets here on Glace Island. Ultimate power! Yes, yes, you lots of food. That being said, you have done a great deal for all of us here on Glace Island in the short time you've been here. I am being patronizing. Stop it. What's going I on? Stop it. You don't want me yelling? Stop it. One was down here. <laughs> Apparently, you do want me to come up now, so fucking stop it. Sorry for that interruption. It sounds like a bunch of shit guns in the background. <laughs> I'm serious. It's such short circuit. You're paying for a new one. Then <laughs> stop. Bump, 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 bump. Poor Alucard. He's strapped. He's, he's stuck near the black stump and ooten ooted at it. Or ooted at it. Nah, it's more of a Toowoomba problem. Yeah. I'm serious, the stuff's working. You are paying for a new one. What's going on, Alicard? <laughs> Annoying mother, that's what. Oh, we all have them. And they're alive. That is. <laughs> okay, let's get this over. More than many of us in our entire lifetime. Well, you're just all a bunch of lazy cats, aren't you? Can't do, can't even kill a monster. You fucked with the emus game, are you? I think there's no anyone I in have the... to pee. <laughs> I think if there's anyone on this island knowing the world I can trust a stranger to you, it would be you, Mario. Take this with pride and continue to spread your sweet spirit and with the rest of the world. <laughs> oh god! If you're Australian, you get the joke. And I know the program, the mod makers did not try to make this joke, but it is a funny joke. You promise not to. You got the golden <laughs> Golden cut! Golden cut! Ah, god damn it. The Fable Treasure in Glace Island, give it to Color. <laughs> Feels strange to pass this off to an outsider, but I have full faith you'll use this power for good. Please see me again if there's anything else you need. For now, let me show you the small taste of the true power of sweets by warping you back to the village. Take care, Mario, and I wish you only the best on your travels. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Well, that was a bit of a shish kebab, but we're getting in here now. Let's heal. Bowser is wearing the cone of shame for some random reason. Well, it's because he's a shit cat. Anyone who can kidnap someone that many times and fails every time is a shit cat. Well, he's never getting munted, I'll tell you that one. You stop. Let's give Alec, let's give Colorado the British bust, pommy bastard he is, the bloody treasure. 
Greetings, Mario, old boy. I need you to talk with your journey in the jungle. I don't want to be so. Poor Alec, uh, poor Alec, uh, he's dealing with a bit of a shoes hack. That look on your face gives me the feeling I'm about to get some wonderful news. My good heavens, you truly are a miracle worker. You finally found it. You actually found it. The legendary treasure of Grace Island. Its sweet fragrance is even more wonderful than I could have imagined. You wouldn't mind if I kept town. I held on to it for safekeeping and all that. Thank you, Mario. With this, I declare our expedition a complete and total success. Well, I'm sure everyone is waiting on bated breath for our return. Are you good? Here are the adventures we engaged in. Onward, let's return home to share the stories and success of our grand adventure. Hmm. A special thanks out. goes out to the following. Rain, Fish, and El Dexter and more for helping me with many questions I had along the way. Plus, we set up a certain code that would have been too complex for me alone. Shade Blade as Dark Star was an inspiration source for a lot of the features. For us to help me get parts of the code working outside of Dark Star. Thank you to many others in the community for all the feedback along the way. I hope you all enjoyed the adventure. Mod's over. Next stream, I'll cover the other three mods for the Paper Mario modding jam. The end. Well, that was stroof, is it? That was sweet ass. No pun intended. Well, let's raid some of any of my friends are live. Ah, Achi was live. Let's raid and not the Shadow Legends y kind of way. Raid. <laughs> 